Good day everyone and welcome to another edition of In Case You Missed It. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Jama Tactician, Dudu Labedia, reviews of player goes as the next chapter in his coaching career with a post on Instagram. Nigeria striker, Victor Latoji joins the popular social media trend I am a choosing as he scored on his Champions League debut for Sparta Prague. Over the week, Super Eagles players were on impressive form for their various clubs in Europe as they look to carry the form to the double header African qualifiers against Libya in October. German tactician Bruno Labedia has made a shocking revelation on social media, hinting that he could take over as a new Super Eagles coach. Bruno Labedia might have announced himself as the next head coach of Nigerian national football team Super Eagles. This was disclosed in a recent post on Instagram after the former Stuttgart coach rejected his earlier appointment with the Nigeria Football Federation NFL. Labedia was announced as the new head coach of the Super Eagles after Fenedi George resigned from his position. After just two games in charge, following a disastrous start to the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifying campaign. However, a few days later, the report from Jam disclosed that Labedia rejected the Super Eagles job after the Nigeria Football Federation announced his appointment as the head coach. A report published by Kika in August wrote, Bruno Labedia will not be the new national coach of Nigeria. The 58-year-old German football coach has been negotiating with Africa for a week and according to information from Kika, decided against the contract on Friday. The NFL blamed the strict regulation of German tax authority for the deal's collapse. The Federation added that Labedia wanted NFL to upset the concomitant tax percentage on the salary and was adamant about the demand. NFL President Ibrahim Gusau said, The NFL and Mr. Labedia reached an agreement in principle. Before we made the announcement, the tax details were never part of our discussions and he had personally agreed to all terms before the tax issue arose. We were trying to be flexible, but he was adamant that NFL had to pay the full tax amount. We simply cannot do that. But in the latest turn of events, Labedia recently shared on the social media that the new chapter is Nigeria with the caption, New chapter with the Nigeria flag, he posted on Instagram. The NFL has yet to issue any official reaction to the coach post. If confirmed, Labedia is expected to take over from NFL Tinker Director Augustine Eguavon, who led the Super Eagles to victory against Benin Republic and a draw against Rwanda in Kigali. Nigeria forward Victor Olatunji joined the army chosen trend as he made a remarkable UEFA Champions League debut on Wednesday night, leading Sparta Prague to a convincing 3-0 victory over Red Bull Salzburg. Reading such Republic champions, Sparta Prague kicked off their UEFA Champions League campaign with a win against Salzburg at the Epet Arena in Prague. Olatunji played a crucial role in the sex side opening group stage match, directly contributing to the two of the team's three goals. He scored just before half time to double Sparta's lead and provided an assist for the third goal in the second half before being substituted in the 64th minute. His standard performance, marked by a goal and an assist, quickly garnered attention from Nigerian football fans and showcased his potential on Europe's biggest stage. In addition to his on-field success, Olatunji post goal celebration captured the spotlight. After scoring, he revealed a message on his undershirt that read, I am a chosen, who are you? A nod to a popular social media trend in Nigeria, reflecting his connection to his roots. According to Opta, Olatunji's goal made him the third African player to score an assist on his Champions League debut after Daniel Cousin in 2007 for Rangers vs Lyon and such Aurea in 2015 for PSG vs Shatta Donex. Olatunji's impressive debut could well draw the interest of Nigerian national team selectors. His impactful display in such a prestigious competition may accelerate his inclusion in the Super Ego setup. The Super Eagles eligible player, who has yet to be capped at the senior level, delivers such an impactful display in elite European competition which could fast track his inclusion in the Super Eagles setup. Sparta Prague could not have asked for a better start to their Champions League campaign with Olatunji's performance setting a high standard for, for the team's future matches. Sparta Prague will take on Stuttgart in their next Champions League game in the other matches Inter Milan and Manchester City to a goalless draw, while Celtic were the highest winner of the night with a 5-1 victory over Slovan Bratislava. Rafael Yandika played on 90 minutes but could not save Club Brugge from a 3-0 loss to Borussia Dortmund at home.
fresh from powering the Super Eagles to the top of their group in the 2025 AFCON qualifiers, Nigeria stars returned to their various clubs abroad around the show with goals and assists. The current African player of the year, Victor Simen, made an instant impact in the Turkish Super League, averaged seven shot on goal on his debut for Galatasaray. He sat on this 5-0 win over SS Sport, a record in the Super League match this season. He came close to scoring in the first half when he met a cross with a powerful flick header. However, it was his teammate Abdukarim Badashek who applied the final touch, turning Usime's goal born effort into an assist. In Germany, Victor Boniface spearheaded by Oliver Kusin's return to winning ways in the Bundesliga with a commanding victory at the Prizero Arena against TSG Offerham. Boniface set the stage with a stunning assist to Martin Terrier, who opened the scoring for the defending Bundesliga champions. He then added to his tally with an incredible goal of his own. Shortly after Florence Weiss converted a penalty, Boniface completed his brace with another weight-taking strike, capping off an impressive performance. His brace secured a 4-1 victory for Bayern Leverkusen on the night. Ballon d'Or nominee Ademola Lukma was in impressive form as he powered Atalanta to a win over Florentina on Sunday afternoon. He marked his first start of the new season with a goal and assist for Atalanta to win their second game in the Serie A against Florentina 32. His match winner in the first half stoppage time proved his class as he fought the entire Florentina defense before he slotted home by the first post. His numbers from the game were impressive with the highest pass accuracy of 86% with dribble completed, which is 5, 3 chance created, 2 shots on target, 1 goal and 1 assist. He was named the man of the match. In the Premier League, Buffett Ndidi played an important role in Leicester City 2 2 Premier League draw at Crystal Palace. Leicester City recorded their first point on return to the Premier League, courtesy of a 2 2 draw at Crystal Palace. The Nigerian international was a creative mastermind behind Fox's impressive display as he provided the assist to his side two goals. In the 2 assist against Crystal Palace, took his tally to 12 in the Premier League, surpassing the 10 assists that legendary Nigeria playmaker Austin Okocha managed in his career. Fresh from making a switch from EPL side Brentford to Osborg, Franco Inca justified why he needed more game time as he marked his debut with an assist in the 3 1 win over St. Pauli at the WWK Arena. Marius Wolf opened the scoring for the host after the restart, and Oyinka was the provider of the second, a pinpoint cross to the substitute, Philip Thiers, who volleyed home at the back post. As well, at Anfield, Olaino stayed for Nottingham Forest in a memorable 1 0 win over Liverpool. The Nigeria defender played the full 90 minutes and was outstanding in neutralizing Liverpool's attack, particularly dealing with Luis Diaz. Also in France, Moses Simon provided the assist for Lante's goal in their 2 1 home loss to Rennes in the French League 1 on Sunday. It was Simon's first assist in four games in the French League 1 this season. Simon set up Douglas for the opening goal in the 28th minute. Also, it was Lante's first defeat this season after winning two and drawing one of their opening three fixtures. The Nigeria football community has been hit with different reactions following the Nigeria Football Federation NFF announcement of Bruno Labidia as the new coach of the Super Eagles. The 58-year-old, who boasts extensive experience in German football, is embarking on his first national team coaching career with Nigeria. According to the press statement issued by the NFF, the former Bayern Leverkusen manager is set to lead the Super Eagles in the upcoming 2025 African Cup of Nations qualification series where they will face the Republic of Benin and the Amalfubi of Rwanda. As reactions to the appointment of the veteran German coach continue to pour in, let's look into the things you need to know about the new manager of the Nigeria team. Here are the things to note about the new coach of the Super Eagles. Bruno Labedia was a prolific striker. The newly appointed manager of the Super Eagles made a name for himself during his active football days with several clubs across various tiers of the German football pyramid. Labedia whose career spanned nearly two decades, scored over 250 goals. As a forward, he played for several prominent clubs, including Werder Bremen. He triumphed in German Bundesliga with Bayern Munich as a player in 1994. He's tactically flexible as a coach. Since beginning his coaching career in 2003, with Damshat 98, the veteran manager has demonstrated impressive tactical flexibility and adaptability wherever he has been in charge. While data from Sova score highlight his preference for the 4 2 3 1 formation, his coaching career reveals his strong inclination towards flexibility. He frequently tailors his tactics to capitalize on his team's greatest strengths. Super Eagles fans can anticipate a highly adaptable and potentially fluid tactical approach from the new manager, the SAC specialist. The former Bayern Leverkusen striker has been dismissed from several managerial positions throughout his career. He has been fired several times, most recently from VFB Stuttgart, due to a poor performance after the team dropped to the bottom of the league standings. Throughout 487 matches across eight different clubs, 
Labidia has an overall win rate of 44% with 214 wins, 130 draws and 170 losses. Managerial success Throughout his two-decade coaching career, Coach Labidia has managed some of the biggest clubs in German football. The 58-year-old has been in charge of Bayer Leverkusen, Hamburger SV and VFL Wolfsburg. Unfortunately, Labedia has yet to secure any titles in his managerial career. His best achievement remains a 6th place finish with VFB Stuttgart in the 2011-2012 season, which earned the team a spot in the UEFA Europa League. He scored the relegation specialist. An important details for the fans of Nigeria team to know about their new senior men's manager is his well nickname, the relegation specialist. Coach Labedia has secured a reputation as one of the top managers to turn to when a team faces the threat of relegation. He has consistently performed this role with distinction. The veteran tactician notably achieved this in 2015 with Hamburg and again in 2018 with Wolfsburg. Now, Labedia will aim to replicate this success with the Super Eagles, particularly as the team currently finds itself at the bottom of the FIFA World Cup qualification group, the Italian Heritage. The new coach of the Super Eagles also boasts notable Italian heritage. Lapidia's family roots trace back to Le Luna, a town in the Lazio region of Italy. His Italian parents subsequently moved to Germany as Gasta Beita and settled in Sheffield Housen near Damschat. At the age of 18, he renounced his Italian citizenship to become a German citizen, as only two foreigners were allowed to play on the team at that time in Germany. The decision allowed him to join Damschat's net squad 